The first flight of Tejas Mark 1A aircraft is expected to take place on 21st or 22nd March, that will be delivered to Indian Air Force next month. BrahMos Aerospace will start drop and dummy testing of the BrahMos NGA launched missile by mid-2025, and flight trials will start by the end of 2025, and fast-track induction into the Indian Air Force by 2026. Indian Navy's Israeli origin searcher drone crashed during a routine sortie at INS Garuda in Kochi. Indian Army's next generation 3D printed bunkers being constructed at Sailor Pass can withstand a direct hit from a main battle tank from a range of 100 meters. Bulgarian President has expressed gratitude to the Indian Navy for successfully carrying out a rescue operation on the hijacked Bulgarian merchant vessel. India and Maldives held their fourth bilateral review meeting to take stock of Indian line of credit projects. Prime Minister Modi congratulated Russian President Vladimir Putin on his re-election as the President of the Russian Federation. The Indian Army has raised an elite unit that will undertake research and evaluation of futuristic communication technologies like 6G, artificial intelligence machine learning and quantum computing for military use. The navies of India and US have started exercise Tiger Triumph on the eastern seaboard to boost interoperability for disaster relief operations. The Indian Ministry of Defence has initiated a global tender process to procure canister-launched anti-armor loiter munition systems for the Indian Army, in which Russia is planning to offer a joint production of the Lancet loitering munition, under which India would assemble the systems and develop the software. It has a maximum range of 40 km, a maximum speed of 300 km per hour, and is armed with high-explosive fragmentation warheads. The Dutch government has awarded an order for four conventionally powered Barracuda class submarines to French company Naval Group, and the deal has garnered attention in India, as the Indian Navy is looking to develop 12 next generation submarines on the Project 76. The Dutch contract will provide India with leverage in negotiating the price of pump jet technology from Naval Group. The Ministry of Defence has initiated the IDEX challenge to develop an anti-drone system, specifically tailored for integration with armoured vehicles such as the Arjun Mark 1A tank, T-72 T-90 and BMP-2 vehicles. The anti-drone system will seamlessly integrate with the existing infrastructure of battle tanks, and will employ advanced tracking algorithms and sensor fusion techniques to precisely monitor the movements of targeted UAVs, and counter them effectively within a minimum range of 5 kilometers. Fearing exclusion from the upcoming medium transport aircraft program, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is lobbying for the development of a completely indigenous cargo transporter. HAL is advocating for the indigenous development of a new cargo aircraft that will potentially create a long-term advantage in terms of maintenance and future upgrades. Spain's Secretary of State for Defense has said that apart from SAT Plus class submarines, Spanish shipyard Navantia has offered an India-specific customized variant of its Juan Carlos I class landing platform docked to the Indian Navy, with local production at a selected Indian shipyard through a technology transfer agreement. Today's top three comments.